Good evening all. Three in the last three, all having their respective challenges. The latest clash on Saturday, their toughest yet. Bedford, however, remain on top form as they move into a playoff place after Saturday's three points. Starting with the home side, Shefford Town and Campton. A key one to note, Johnny McNamara. 29 goals in 22 games is the league's top goal scorer. Not too many changes uh, from the side that went out to face Rushton not too long ago. Steve Burford returns to the lineup as well as a new signing in Scott Joseph wearing 11. Cross available, no one on it. Snee on the far post. Could fall. Oh, great save from Carl Forster. Ball again to the back post and Bedford have to deal with it. Hamilton with the good block. Still not rid. Still another opportunity. Falls to Metcalf. And a missed time kick. Doesn't work out, Bamford. Pinball alley there, wasn't it? You know, once again, near post, nobody picking up that ball coming across, whether it's in our box or their box. And look at his save from Forster. Really, really excellent stuff. Great reflexes. Joseph into Bamford. Could fall for Rogers. It's going to penalty. It's going to penalty. Referee points to the spot. Shepard yes. in disbelief. Bamford immediately takes the ball. It's bedding these new players in. Here's the penalty. Well, that was a little push in the back is what it was given for, but... Bamford for Rails hits the roof of the net and it's a captain's contribution that gets the first goal of this game. Goes for power rather than precision and drills it home. Nothing that Reese Lewis could do about that. <laughs> I thought we'd really nailed that down. I thought we had. <laughs> O'Neill with the strike, falls well, and it's in. An instant response, this time from Sam Day. Outside of the box, Carl Forster rooted to the spot in it. Falls in the right-hand corner. That was the right-hand side, and quite right, because the, the goalkeeper is the most important player on the pitch. But <laughs> just see this here, once again, it's not quite cleared, and it's fallen, and this time... He just finds it across and there's nothing forced to that because just crept inside the post there. Snee. He's got Metcalf on the counter, but he potentially might be asking a bit too much of the youngster. Good cross in and McNamara's on the back post. They double down. Sheffield get two within two and turn this game on its head. I certainly do, and it's a great finish. And once again, it's like, you know, we're letting them get on the outside of us, which is fine, because, you know, they're going to attack somewhere. Um, but ball's coming across. You've got to cut these balls out. Look at that. It's gone past one, two players. They're just like, you know, watching it go over their heads. Oh, come on, lads. You've got to mark. Ball's to Snee. He gets a second opportunity at it. And Forster fumbles. Snee capitalises. Cristiano Ronaldo S celebration. Yeah, it weren't bad that actually, in fairness to him. I mean, like, you know, did that well, but I think we look back at this again, Forster will be disappointed with it. I mean, it was from point blank. But it's like you, the two of you, you've got to, you, you've got to mark, because three of you, like, they're all chatting about it. Good block. Yeah, and Forster will be disappointed Slips with that. But listen, it's got to go past 10 players before it gets to the keeper. So there's a few others to blame before he gets there. Put on, on the lads. back foot. Sorry. And Metcalf with a lovely ball to Snee on the counter. Waiting for a few men. And it's the one, two, Metcalf. Opportunity. McNamara's on the end of it. And that is four. The last thing that Bedford wanted before half-time. They had an opportunity to make it 3-2 with something off the corner and a quick counter after some 
lazy interplay. Snee's done well here, and he just brings the uh, calf in. And once again, McNamara is like any decent forward, just sniffing around on the edge there. Snee trying to find something. Spread it in. Oh, McNamara, McNamara on the ball. And Good block from Pickard and most dangerous man on the field left with so much real estate in front of him you can almost we're into the red Bamford sets it on a plate Reese Brown Joseph with the turn oh. no and he looks as despondent as we were sounding there it was well played that was scuffed there and just yeah, he was falling backwards, so he couldn't get over it. It Just was always going wide and high. Early and trip the, home. Yeah, and if the other side agree. And it also put some of us... Oh, oh. Could be the last opportunity. Well saved, however, by Forster, who was put under immense pressure. Just like a hospital back pass here. Yeah, that's really poor, and... Snee pounced on it like any good striker should. Ball to the back. Balls to Lewis. Gets a shot off. Another one. O'Neill with the final shot of the game. Well, we finished this first half at 4-1. We finished the second half with the same score. No time to dwell, however, Winslow away awaits. For now, time to regroup. Final score here at Shefford, Shefford Town and Campton FC4, Bedford FC1.